got dirt in the other side. This is hydrogen peroxide. It's hydrogen peroxide. All right, I'll take it in. It's already been treated with. Okay. Let me bring it into here so uh, This is from under it. the house. It will start to foam. And when it foams, that's the, see it? That's in, that means there's contact with biological substance in there. That's a oh biological God. reaction. Look at that, look. See, it all went down. Watch out, I wouldn't stand there. Oh, she pulled it out and it sucked in. Wow. That's definitely a hole deep in there. Can you do that one more time? Huh? I guess the hole's I'll already... I'll put some water in there. I was trying to show this is what he is. The store. That's why I pulled away was to show that. That's the thing from it. Which we're gonna pull that hey, out. This. The disc. Watch it. <laughs> uh, a little bit of water. Okay, okay watch. This is a high volume hose, but watch, this will start foaming out. That hydrogen peroxide in there is just going to go crazy. It smells like the Pirates of the Caribbean, which. Uh, no, it smells like a fucking. Well, I can't smell. My allergies have been going wild. I haven't been able to smell for a long time. Hear it on the foam. Oh it's going to keep coming up and it's going to go suck down. It's going to bubble up and then the whole thing is just going to suck down. It's black water. Oh, yeah, it's starting to bubble. That's reeling. Okay. Some of it is going out, but not that much. Ooh, it's moving around. I guess I better stay on the mark. Like it's bubbling. I started it's last year and smell it. No, I smelled it earlier. It was really bad. Over there when it... No, you don't know what bad is yet. I smelled it over by the white table.
So did you put that other one in there too? That's I'm also sure. that goes that deep in there? Hey, oh my god. Solid water. All Okay, yeah, and it's pretty, um, pretty muddy and stuff out here because we had the flood inside, and this is how we discovered all this stuff was going on. We had our uh, health well, yeah, symptoms, you know, where we didn't feel too good and everything, and, uh, but we didn't know that until we had the flood, and we called them. They the rug that uh, got flooded and they're trying to save. Yes. So these are hanging to dry. These are our rugs that were in the house. We have nice stuff and would have never moved in here if we'd have known and had this kind of problem. Um, the reason we opened up, took the flooring out and everything, it was an emergency because we were ill and they didn't want to fix it. 
and we just didn't have anywhere to move, in the, you know. So we were trying to fix this so we can live our life. Now, what did they say when you told them about the flood? <clears throat> I'll be right over to check it out. You'll be right over. And it never was. Never showed up. Oh, no, of course not. But that's just, you know, we're on our own here. We're going to drop the hide space because, one, we can't afford to move with that shit. Two is, I know how to fix it. But, I mean, I don't care. I already got goods and stuff. This is like, 14 grand for that. That doesn't even include the abatement of a fucking sump underneath the house. That is sick. The whole underneath of the block structure is loaded with water that came from the toilet and the sinks and the bathtub and the shower and the toilet. And it's black. And it's affluent. It's actual affluent underneath the house. I thought the rain was pushing it up and I sealed the bottom, but it wasn't. We went through and we did mold. We found mold, all kinds of stuff in the floor, pulled it up, thought that was it. Every piece of wood or anything else that's touching that floor is wet. So what I did is I ground down the concrete and I uh, put a vapor, uh, uh, a permeable vapor very, uh, sealer on it, so it'll allow some moistures to come through, but only very little, and it's dry. It doesn't retain it, because there's a, an incredible amount of condensation. And every piece of wood that you see under there that's been opened is rotted, gone. Um, it's just water lines are just going through the entire house. And the, the hydraulic pressure is pushing up things through the cracks, through the other things. And right now I have an incredible headache. I don't get headaches. And uh, it's because this, 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 this is what it is. Um, we tried to clear the pipes and all that, and we found out that they laid the new electric in the bank house, and they used this line, and they let the sewer just be opened in it and this is the result of the water the low spots on that thing is from the water my group so we're going to attempt something high tech our remediation process i don't know if it'll work i'm hoping it will but my god this is damn, this is criminal they knew and people got tested and thanks to our homeopathic wisdom Now I poured a little bit in there and all that water, but all my phone is on the phone. So Still I have this, I have this incredible idea. And I tested it through here. I did, I tested it. It's a multi thing and what it'll do is it'll go in and I'm gonna use a combination of probiotics and, and flip the pH in there so we'll remediate this oil. Hopefully. And I think it'll help. And you've been trained for uh Water oh, all this stuff. That's what I do. I, I, I flood places on a regular basis so I can remove and treat areas and then I dry them out. I know all about drying. I've been doing this for years and years. And uh, I've dealt with mold, but this is the first time I've actually dealt with uh, this, this type of mold. They, these were jet black. Um, I have the before pictures of all the structures, and what I'm doing is I'm using technology I learned in the restoration, uh, uh, fabric restoration, and uh, the, the wood is coming out white, and it's going to be inhibited from any mold growth because it's going to be actually cellularly implanted with uh, um, uh, minerals and what have you that are completely hostile to mold. Anyway. Safe for people, though. Oh, absolutely. Okay, um, he's good. You use these things in, uh, you can find them in most people's kitchens and other things like that. But 
the thing is, is it's how it's put together. And it's flipped one way, the other way, the other way, the other way. And what you're left with is solid. Uh, with, but all these bottoms are just, everything on the bottom here is just completely gone. It's wet all the way through and, and rock. You can pull it apart with your fingers. You can see it right here. Yeah, this is, we had to take all our laundry out. We have washing machine and dryer out. So this is pretty much a mess because we had to bring all our stuff out because the water was, you know, goes right from inside look, look. into the bedroom. These are the pieces right here from the planks. And you can see what's been touching it. You're not showing it. Okay, that's right there. Here, put it up on the sunshine so we can get a good look. Okay, we've got it. Okay, you hold it and I'll hold the camera because the camera's got a... This stuff makes me itch. This touch of getting, getting around it. It's all like this. And you can just pop yeah. it apart and make your fingers. Okay, you can't move. Uh, you got to hold it a little slower. Just put it down. Oh, I'm good. We're good. Okay. All right. It's all wormy looking anyways. This is the treatment. Oh, here. Let me show it over here. So. This is the treatments I performed that turn the wood that blazons it. Okay, yeah, so this side he treated. Turn it, can you turn it over? Both, and then this was underneath. This is what I peeled up. This is sitting on the floor. Oh, look at that greasy. This is after the all the treatments. Hold on, let me get the That's shine moldy. so you can see the shine. Yeah. See that sheen? It's like a really gross, sticky, icky blue sheen. And you can see it on the That's side. That's part of the like original glue. And let me show the side. Yeah, shouldn't, no, it's not glued down there. I don't know what that is. That's the glue that migrated underneath the linoleum. That's okay. what that is. Okay, so that's treated and then non-treated. Check that is, out. Yeah, this is, you know. Look at that. That's mold. Look at there's a power box right above all that. That just wild or what? Trying to make a place for the water to go because it's under the house and we were wondering why it smelled like sewer uh, really bad, like uh, right off of the rain. We couldn't figure out why it smelled so bad. And it was always around the back part of the house. And we put the seal here in the ring because we noticed like a deep crack that uh, we were afraid it was going to go under the house. So evidently already was under the house and that's probably why it had a deep crack. Yeah. Huh? What? Oh. Yeah, my nose has been stuffed up, but I can smell that. And I smell really hard. I mean, I just, my allergies kick in and I can't smell anything. So. That's what's been happening. It's It's not the six. All right, uh, the clock was outside. That outside clock has a little glitch. It's actually the 19th today. 6:45.